Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to create JavaScript objects using new operator. My name is Dhananjay Kumar. A JavaScript object can be created in three different ways. We can use literals to create JavaScript objects. We can use new operator to create JavaScript objects. Or you can use a static function object.create to create a JavaScript objects. In this video, we will learn how to use new operator to create JavaScript objects. So, we will learn by creating and writing codes. I am using Sublime Text Editor to write my JavaScript code. You can use any editor of your choice. So, let us create a function. We are going to create a student function and this function takes two parameter name is and then it is setting this dot name equal to name and this dot is equal to is. So we have created a function named a student and that takes two parameter. As you know, in JavaScript, a student function is also an object. And if you want to create an object out of this function, we can easily create as std1 equal to new a student. And here we need to pass name and is. So let us say I'm passing Dan and is 40. So what I have done in line number 7 that I have created an object std1 of type student. Now if you go ahead and fetch any of the properties of this function using this object std1.name and run it and here you see that you are getting output name. You can access is and you should get the expected output here. In the same way you can create another object and that can be created as std2 and again you need to pass in the constructor different, different values I am passing Glen B and if you run here we are getting the output. Oops we need to change this std2 and here we are getting. So this is using new operator you can create a JavaScript object. Working with new operator if you want you can override properties from parent objects as well. So if you want to override two string we can go and say this dot two string and that takes a function and suppose that function returns here we need to put that as this and this function let us say returning return this dot name is year old. So this function is returning uh, name and age which we are passing and constructing a string and here we are overriding two string property of parent object and again we are creating an object std1 dan w40 and then we are calling this two string like std1 dot two string and see how it works so just go ahead and run this and here you get the output that Dan is 40 year old. So using new operator if you want you can override functions properties from the parent object as well. If you want you can add new property in the object using prototype. So you can go ahead and say a student dot prototype and let us say we want to add something called grade and we are adding that as grade 
as function and that takes something some value we call it g and we want to override this dot is so we can go ahead and say this dot is equal to g and here we what we have done we have added one more property grade and we have overridden that this dot is a g so when you go here with the object which we have already created std one dot grid and we need to pass some value there and I'm calling it passing 30 and then if you want if you try to access a student age property you should get 30 now the age of this particular student object now when you run this you see that the age has been overridden overridden here with the 30 so we had Dan was 40 year old due to line number 13 which you see here and then we using prototype we overridden the and added a grade property which is overriding age property value and now this value is 30 so this is how you create an object and work in with an object using new operator and when you use a new operator that is also known as constructor pattern so in this video we learned creating JavaScript objects using new operator we learned that this is also known as constructor pattern we learned how to override to string or any property from parent object and how we can add new property to object using prototype I hope you find this video useful for update feel free to follow my blog that is debugmode.net or follow me on twitter that is debug underscore mode thanks for watching this video